Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your yearly rock wind up. 2014 saw a lot of things shake and bake and all that kind of candlestick makes. So let's uh, go ahead and jump right into it too. Obviously a big thank you to each and every one of you for an awesome year with the Lodo shows, with uh, obviously Rock Fest and Corn, the headliner this year. Uh, you know, uh, everything that you do with Bikers for Babies and Hope for the Holidays. Seriously, that is uh, something that uh, is, is uh, priceless and showing just how great uh, of a city Kansas City is. And also, uh, a ball team. How about the Royals this year? Making it all the way to the World Series. I went to Game 7. Still the most expensive hangover I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, 2014 also saw the return of Slipknot in a major way with a brand new album, of course. Minus two members, uh, Paul Gray, who passed away, and Joey Jordanson being uh, fired from the band. We also saw Three Days Grace kick out a couple new singers with their new frontman, Matt Walsh. Be on the lookout for a new album from them in 2015. Faith No More kicked out a new jam mother which I bought uh, on Record Store Day's Black Friday on a 7-inch vinyl. They are promising a new album, uh, presumably in April. Hopefully that will mean a tour. Of course, 2014 also heard from Gene Simmons, Rook is dead. And while uh, there is some valid points to Gene's argument about how it's very hard for rock stars to get up off the ground now, rock and roll is still alive and well, as was noted from Mark Abramson from Roadrunner Records, Lou Brutus, Corey Taylor, and so many other people uh, obviously going on about the, the the pursuit and passion of making music and that's really where it is in terms of uh, valuable uh, for, for people internally it's making that music getting out there and playing it yeah you might not be able to uh, you know hawk your image on 3,000 different products these days but there is still gonna be plenty of rock music made in 2015 most notably Kid Rock Marilyn Manson uh, as I mentioned earlier Faith No More uh, maybe Tool uh, you know who, who, who knows we never really know with that let me check my notes just to make sure I covered everything uh, oh yeah yeah, uh, I like the fact that Foo Fighters in the new year at Sprint Center already sold out. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Obviously a massive year for Dave Grohl, continuing on the success of Sound City Movie uh, and the Sound City soundtrack with their new uh, album, Sonic Highways. Uh, looking over my little list here, uh, what else? A goodbye to Motley Crue. They did their farewell tour this year. But hello to a band called Nothing More. I would say that inside of our world of rock music, Nothing More, probably the breakout band of 2014. We saw them at Rockfest. They did a fantastic job. Just saw them again at the low. Lodo Twisted Christmas Show. Speaking of Lodo shows in 2015, already off to a bang with Black Label Society, Hate Breed, and Butcher Babies. And of course, there will be plenty more of those and Rockfest. That announcement's just around the corner. If I'm not mistaken, it'll be that first Monday in March. I wonder who's going to be there. Start taking your guesses. Start taking your polls now. In fact, we should run some sort of a gambling board. Nonetheless, uh, thank you so much again for a fantastic year. Uh, welcoming an uh, all-new uh, afternoon program with the uh, commercial free at 3. Your four 20 smoke break and of course that double shot of Metallica to kick off the 5 p.m. hour. So I am Nivens. Thank you once again for an amazing 2014. I can't wait for 2015. Have a great new year. Peace.